Hello there, this is Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space. Today I'm going to be announcing a November readathon that I am doing with some of my friends here on booktube. This is going to be a readathon celebrating Project Gutenberg. If you've ever downloaded a book from Project Gutenberg, you know what a joy their site is. Like it's just so fun to be like shopping for free is basically what you're doing when you go to Project Gutenberg. If you want to go to another world, Project Gutenberg will take you there for free. I can't really express how valuable Project Gutenberg has been to me over the course of my reading life. And I'm sure there's a other people out there who feel the exact same way as I do. So if that's you, this is the right readathon for you because everybody who has gathered together to create this readathon is just like us. They love Project Gutenberg as well. So my co-hosts are going to be Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia, Kate from The Literary Apothecary, Stephanie from Miss Richards Reads, and Mark from Book Time with Elvis. So the readathon is going to start on November 1st and it can go to the end of the month, but technically we're going to have our finale live show on November 26th, which is a Saturday. And we're doing it that day because it's the last weekend of November, but you can feel free to continue reading forever from Project Gutenberg. You do not have to stop on November. Two, 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 three, three, four, four oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. oh, we're missing them. I'm sorry. I was too slow. This is not going to be a replay of the Victober TBR. If you're here because you saw my Victober TBR, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I do frequently have deer breaks, but that was wild. That that TBR was wild. Hopefully we'll have another deer convention sometime soon. Okay, I told you the co-hosts. We told you the start date and the end date. So uh, our, we have two live shows planned for this. We do not have the times planned yet yet so i'm gonna need you to watch our channels all of our channels but especially the channels of the two live show hosts because they will be announcing the time on their channels tiffany from beautiful minutia is going to host some live reading sprints for us near the beginning of the readathon so november 5th which i think is the first weekend of the readathon so watch her channel for the time so the 26th will be our finale live show and that will be on kate from the literary apothecary's channel thank you guys for hosting again the time will be determined later keep a watch on Tiffany's and Kate's channels for those times. And I will also like share the link through my channel and I'll probably do like an announcement with the times when we get them. And our group read is going to be Rasselas by Samuel Johnson. And I found this years ago in Jane Eyre, obviously, is where I first heard of it. Is that where anybody else first heard of the title Rasselas? Anyways, I've been wanting to read it ever since. Samuel Johnson is funny and I just have never gone around to it. And so I was thrilled when it won the group poll. However, I will also be reading the other books that were in the group poll. So don't worry if your favorite that you voted for did not win. I will also be reading those. And they count for the challenges as well. For example, one of the options was Southern Horror's Lynch Law in All Its Phases by Ida B. Wells Burnett, who was an African-American civil rights leader and a journalist. And so she wrote this book to kind of set the record straight about what was happening in the South. It's ridiculous that this is happening and that I'm having to set the record straight, but here I am doing it. She was just, it sounds like a really incredible voice. So this could count on our host challenge board, which I will be getting to now. Our rating Project Gutenberg challenges, oh, by the way, our hashtag is rating Project Gutenberg. So use that and tag us if you want us to see your content for rating Project Gutenberg. We have challenges from each of the five co-hosts. So my challenge is to proofread one page for Project Gutenberg because really I'm celebrating Project Gutenberg and I just want to thank them for all of their really hard work. And I want to make sure that we're giving back if we can. So that's my challenge and I'm currently going through the process of proofreading a page. There's some rules and stuff that I still need to read. A lot of it's pretty simple basic stuff. They don't let they don't throw you into the deep end on your first page but their request is you know try just reading one page. If you proofread one page of this book and we have you know a bunch of people helping the book will get done. <laughs> so that's kind of the goal is comparing the picture of the original text to the text that will eventually show up on Project Gutenberg and I that sounds like something that would be so fun to be a part of. You just go to Project Gutenberg they'll have linked on their page 
page to another website. It's called Distributed Proofreaders. So they are the people who proofread the books that show up on Project Gutenberg. I will have the links down below so that you can get started. The next challenge is Mark's challenge, which is read something other than a novel. It's very tempting to just like cherry pick all these favorite books that we or just happy to have free that we've already read or you know from well-known authors and that is great like they have all the bunch of Dostoevsky novels on there that is awesome so you can get really popular classic novels and stuff on Project Gutenberg but Mark is going to be highlighting on his channel some of the other things that you can also find there like essay collections and nonfiction and stuff like that. And another one of our prompts is actually read a nonfiction and that's from Kate. So for either of their two prompts you could read Southern Horrors by Ida B. Wells Barnett. So definitely check that out if that sounds like a good read for you. That could cover two challenges. And another one of our challenges is Tiffany's challenge which is read a classic under 300 pages. That should be doable. I wonder if Rasselas is under 300 pages. 224 pages! Yes! So you could cover the group read challenge and Tiffany's challenge in one go. And in fact, if you've read it before, you could cover three challenges with Rasselas because Stephanie's challenge is to reread a favorite classic or read a book by your favorite classic author. So that should be really fun. Sometimes we don't devote enough time to exploring an author fully. We might like read their most famous work and then move on to somebody else and never actually come back to read more by that author. So I will share more about my own picks for this read along in my TBR video. And I just wanted to tell you what the other group read potential choice was. Knock Three Times by Marion St. John Webb, which is like a children's book, but it sounds like there might be like some strangeness going on. At night when the full moon rises, the pumpkin turns out to be a magical one. So there's a magical pumpkin in it. Oh my gosh, this sounds so perfect for fall. And it leads two children into a strange land and an extraordinary quest, which is by turns thrilling, chilling, and hair raising. Uh, maybe this isn't as cozy, cozy of a readathon as I was thinking it would be. Originally I was like, it's a cozy readathon. But then I found, you know, Southern horrors and apparently a horror children's novel. <laughs> It's like an eerie tale of high adventure, it's called. So, okay, I wonder, it kind of sounds like Neil Gaiman, sort of. Okay, I'm so intrigued. I, I can't wait to read all of these. Another nice thing, too, is with Kate's challenge, you can be participating in Nonfiction November by reading Southern Horrors or any other nonfiction that you find on Project Gutenberg. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Mark's videos. He's planning to school us all on the other types of literature that can be found through Project Gutenberg. Cannot wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Okay, so and if you haven't subscribed to my co-hosts, please go do. All of them have really wonderful, wonderful channels. So unique and wonderful. So I hope that you'll make your way over there and I hope that you will join us for this readathon. It's gonna be so much fun. Let us know down below if you're gonna be joining us and what your TBR might look like. And if you're gonna post a TBR, please, please, Link me, link me, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.